Hello everyone! I didn't plan to make this video, but I am always looking for extra revenue streams because as someone whose flares are really unpredictable, making money can be very difficult for me and I'm currently saving up to move out and obviously being disabled in general is very expensive. Thank you, American healthcare system. So I'm always looking for those companies like DoorDash and Uber Eats that'll let you kind of work on your own time and earn money when you can. I do work for DoorDash and Uber Eats, I used to work for Postmates, and I have feelings about all of those, maybe I'll make a video about that someday, but today what I am talking about is all of those businesses you see advertised on your Facebook stream, your Facebook timeline, and they're all about, you know, earn an extra 300 a month, 400 a month, 200 a month, whatever, uh, doing some simple thing. This situation was advertising on your car. This company was going to print a like advertising sticker to put on your back window and supposedly that was going to generate you money. So I, I tend to sign up for these kind of things because a lot of times you can't really tell until you're a little more in them. Obviously you should never spend money or give personal information to these kind of companies and when in doubt Google is your best friend. Um, but this was a situation where for the advertise on your car companies the most common scam is that they will sign you up and then send you a check. But the check is for much more than what your startup bonus is because you're supposed to keep the startup bonus for yourself and use the extra to pay the person who's going to wrap your car. So once you pay for this person to wrap your car, the check's going to bounce and you're going to be responsible for that money that you paid this other person. So that's essentially how the company gets your money. They tend to scam people out of a significant amount of money like several hundreds of dollars and that's really crummy because it's not the CEO who's doing super well for himself is getting caught up in these scams. It's the people who need the money. So it's the disabled people and elderly people and pretty much anyone down on their luck is going to be more susceptible to these scams. And so it pisses me off that they exist at all. Um, so I, I spoke on the phone with this lady named Kelly and she told me about their advertise on your car company. It actually didn't sound like a scam a lot at first because they don't do the whole send you a check and make you pay someone thing. That's the first red flag and they didn't have that so I was thinking maybe this was gonna be okay. But then they hit you with they make you pay $19.99 for your first decal because with the decal is going to come a custom number and everybody who signs up using the number that is on your decal will earn you commission. That makes sense, except for the paying part. Companies that tell you to pay them are not generally reputable. This company in particular, I was on the fence about because they said, you know, we need to charge people this so that we know they're serious about action and they'll actually put it on their car and then, you know, if they need to have something invested in it or else they'll just not put it on their car and we're getting scammed. So I, just, I, I understand that, but I, uh, she started, Kelly, this lovely lady Kelly, she's not lovely, she's working for a scam company, I'm being facetious, but uh, this lovely lady Kelly started telling me all about their $50 sign up bonus that they can give me, but only if I sign up today, and also apparently the $19.99 will be immediately refunded to me, so that sounds all well and good. But I asked her if I could call her back, obviously in the same day, to make sure I get the sign-up bonus. But I told her I wanted to do some research and would call her back. So she told me to ask for Kelly and to call back. Which is what I'm back to, about to do. After some Googling, I discovered that most people who have signed up for this particular company, they, they will pay the $19. It'll end up getting processed as $25 which is already sketchy, and the charge will come from a coffee, so a coffee shop in San Diego or Seattle, another very bad sign, and then they'll get the $50 sign-up bonus and there's essentially $80 just sitting in their account, but they're not allowed to get it out until they make their first commission, and then people will never make a commission. There are even people who have had their friends use their code to do the purchase and then still have the company say that no, we never, no one ever purchased this, so you can't make your money until someone charges you. And then eventually they'll tell you that it's a fee to keep your account active and by then you feel like you have already invested so much that you need to keep investing in it and hopefully someday it'll pay off. But it won't. So I'm about to call Kelly back and thank her. I'm gonna thank her for being a part of a company, giving opportunities to make money to disabled people like me who really need the money to help afford medication and healthcare and just food to put on the table. 
I'm, I'm really excited to let her know how grateful I am for the opportunity and how much, you know, getting that extra money a month would mean to me. And then I'm going to tell her that I think her scams are gross. And I, I'm sure she's not the mastermind behind this. I'm sure she is someone who needs money and is doing this to get money as part of a bigger operation. And I feel bad for whatever situation has put Kelly in this position. But now she's trying to screw over others. And I'm not about that. So let's do this. Thank you for calling Advertise on My Car, the nation's number one mobile advertising company. We help our drivers make cash every month advertising on their vehicle. To talk to someone and get started with our program and activate your profile, please press 1. If you are a current driver, meaning you have spoken to one of our rooms. Hi, this is Ryan with Advertising on My Car. Are you calling to activate your account, Jack? Uh, yes. Could I speak to Kelly, please? She asked me to call her back. Sure. Just call on. I will try to check if she is available, okay? Great. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling Advertise in My Car. My name is Kelly. Are you calling to become a driver with us today? Yes. Uh, I spoke to you earlier, and I said I was going to call you back once I had made up my mind. Oh, uh, sure. Hi. Okay. So, uh, you know, just, uh, this is a little sentimental, and I'm sorry, but uh, right off the bat, I just wanted to say, you know, I'm disabled, and I struggle to afford, you know, medicine and food. So I really appreciate companies that give me an opportunity to, you know, afford to survive. So, um, so yeah. Are you Yes, I would love to. Okay, sure. Let me... And just to clarify, uh, then the 1999 will be put back in my account, right? Um, actually, all the, uh, all the earnings you will make, ma'am, the commissions, the bonuses, and the rebates, go to your online mobile wallet there in your profile, ma'am. So okay. from there, you can push that to either your PayPal account or your checking account. It's up to you. Okay, great. And I'll be able to get you that out immediately? Great. Sorry. And I'll be able to get that out, like, immediately? Yes, that is um, right upon the activation of your account, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, that's just interesting because um, I, I was reading online, lots of people were is, saying they were never able to get to their money. Um, that is uh, right after the verification of the installment of the decal. Um, you can um, transfer the, I mean, it will reflect on your online mobile wallet. But then you can um, cash that out, or you can transfer that one to your account right after your first sale, ma'am. Okay, great. I'm just, uh, this money's really going to help me, because I've been uh, really struggling to afford my meds and uh, stuff. So I, I, I just really appreciate it. Um, so anyways, what do, we, what do we need to do next? Okay. Let me just, um, all right. Oh, and uh, by the way, there was a uh, a thing I read that was saying that eventually you had to pay for a, like, yearly fee. Is that a thing? Yes. That is, if you'd like to continue with this campaign after a year. And after... So you have to renew your unique tracking code. And how much is that? Um, just $35. Okay, that's interesting because people were saying it was $85, and they were also saying the original 1995... 1999 fee you charge actually gets billed as like $25 and supposedly is comes from a coffee shop in like Seattle or San Diego. So that doesn't seem super legit. I mean like I'm uh, I, I can't really afford to be wasting money. How can you like reassure me this isn't a scam? Um, yeah, of course. You'll be advertising for one of those Fortune 500 company men, and they wouldn't be doing business with us if they were be able to deliver enough promises. And actually, um, as what I've told you, we wouldn't be the number one um, rep company if we um, mishandled your personal information. So all of your personal Okay, you're telling me you, you wouldn't tell, how am I supposed to know you wouldn't tell me that? I don't know you. People say false things all the time. Because your, your website... Um, can also, 
your website doesn't have like any contact information on it or anything or even any FAQs and like all this information apparently is available and some stuff I can read after I sign up. Why do I not have all the information before I sign up? Um, actually, you can just um, use your email and your password there so you can see um, everything is legit. That is um, just for, um, you know, uh, when when you visit our website, you just have to um, use your username okay. and your password. But I... Like, um, actual reviews. Mm -hmm. Where can I find actual reviews? That'd be great. Um, that's carwrapreviews.com. That's C-A-R-W-R-A-P reviews with S.com. Okay, but... Car wraps in general are scams. So, and y'all are different from a car wrap company because you don't actually wrap the car; you put the sticker on the back. So, I don't know why you'd be directing me there. Um, more than anything, I just wanted to call back to tell you that uh, you know there are lots of people out there who do say this is a scam, and I can't say for sure one way or the other. But if it is, the people you're taking advantage of are um, disabled and down on their luck and hurting, and that's really gross. And so, if you are a scam, I really hope that you're okay with that. <laughs> or not. Uh, yeah, um, you can do research first before um, activating your account. I have, and that's why I'm not going to. But uh, thank you for your time, and I hope you reevaluate your life choices. I can't. I can't. I know there's no way for me to, like, 100% prove that they're a scam, but from what I'm reading online, there are no genuine car wrap companies. Yeah, I hung up on her. I, I'm not you know, as great as all the people on here who can string them along forever. Obviously, the card number I was reading them was fake, so, like, don't try and steal my information. I was coming up with random numbers off the top of my head. Um, but what is wrong with people that they are going to pull themselves up by pushing other people down? I mean, I, I can't prove to you that that was a scam. Maybe there are some people who have made some money off of it, but... Most people who have interacted with this company have lost a lot of money, and that is incredibly unfortunate and cruel, and I don't have the emotional capacity to string along these scam callers, like some of the people on YouTube I see, because I get really upset about it. So I would love to hear your experiences down below. What works for you? What do you do to make extra money when you need it? What, um, brain fog. I can't today. This was not a fun way to start my day. I dislike people. I don't dis I like most people, but people who are going to take advantage of other people. Oh. I'm also going to link down below to an absolutely amazing series about a dude who regularly messes with scam people, and he's a lot funnier than I am. I'm just more emotionally invested and want them to feel bad about their life choices, but he wastes their time like a professional. I'm going to link those down below cuz they're hilarious. But uh, I hope those give you a laugh, and I hope this helps you not get scammed by other companies. And I hope you have a great day. Hoard those spoons, y'all.